Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and thank you so much for being here. So I am here to do a read for you for the month of July 2019. Uh, this will be for all Sag, uh, uh, all Sagittarians, uh, Sun and Rising, as well as your Venus signs, all right? Uh, now this is a general read, so that goes without saying. Uh, I do hope that there is something that each of you can take with you. Uh, if you'd like a personal read, then go to theguidedintuitive.com and I will get you hooked up over there, okay? Uh, we are just starting to get up. We just opened the gates and so uh, as, as after we finished our last uh our whole last bundle of reads. So I do appreciate everyone's uh, patience. And now I've like, cleared the decks and I'm ready. So uh, I, I have this newfound energy. And speaking of which, okay, Leo, um, one thing that I wanted to know is like when I was um, starting to, when I was, when I was shuffling previously, what I was getting is that uh, focusing on what, answering the question as what brings you joy? Okay, so answer that question. It's gonna be different for everyone, but don't note your comments below because I'd like to know what brings you joy, okay? Uh, I know for me that it's actually getting out and hiking, but being also near water, uh, and just kind of the simple things is what I kind of like, right? Being out in nature, being with animals, and speaking of animals too, I do want you to, uh, to know, I wanna thank everyone who's been donating to my feral cat family that I've been uh, on this mission to relocate because they've been incredibly, um, uh, a lot of people are are kind of uh, antagonizing them a little bit, and so I'm trying to I'm feeding them, taking trying to uh, take good care of them outside of the community, which is a a, a job in itself. <laughs> but I'm trying to relocate them to a beautiful little barn uh, where they can live out the rest of their uh, lives in, with great adventure with the rest of their family and just have a great time without the disturbances. Okay, so uh, anyway, I do want to thank all of you. And if you are interested in donating to my, it's in uh, the bottom of my description box below on my PayPal account. So thank you all for doing that. And we're just helping the animals on this earth and do whatever we can and uh, putting in the good vibes, uh, you know, in the world. They're just beautiful creatures. All right, so. Um, so again, you know, just kind of getting back to you on what brings you great joy, um, you know, what really defines your life, okay, that just really uh, makes your heart sing. And just note your comments below, okay? So who or what def defines the contents of your life and what brings you joy, all right? Because those are going to be two questions you're going to want to ponder, you know, prior for this read here. Okay, so uh, this will be, again be for the full month of July. For those that you are uh, celebrating uh, Independence Day for July 4th, happy birthday, America. I'm right there with you, okay? All right, let's do this. Uh, here we go. This is where you're at right now. So what we get out of the gates is the Empress, which is that beautiful, beautiful, uh, kind of like my, my maternal energy, that feminine energy, full of beauty, full of grace. Uh, she is about art. She's about music, all of that. Uh, and she's like nice things. Uh, now this might be yourself uh, in one way, shape or form. You might be taking on this empress type energy. Her counterpart is the emperor. Okay. Um, just saying, just throwing that out there. But yeah, this is really, really quite beautiful. Uh, and uh, so it could be that perhaps at this time, uh, Sag, you might be um, you, either you're pregnant or someone close to you is pregnant. Okay. Uh, so that's what's coming into place. Um, but yeah, that's what I see. It's like carrying on this beauty, this, uh, you know, and, and this is a major arcana card. So this is really, really nice. So, uh, that being said, I mean, it's all about, uh, you know, just taking that, uh, the beauty, the grace and all of that. And, uh, and just knowing, uh, her worth, you know, in that process and, and having that, that motherly, uh, you know, type of instinct there too. So, but that's how you're feeling right now, which is a great place to be. That Empress energy. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> so let's see what else wants to come out for you. Okay. All right, so there was a reason why I had mentioned the emperor because guess what comes out? <laughs> Ta-da, yeah. So this is uh, her counterpart, which is I'm really thinking that this is a some sort of uh, match here, okay? So note your comments below if you've got an emperor in your life in, in some way, um, but that's what I'm seeing here, okay? So this is quite interesting because, uh, you know, the emperor is, is, is all about... Um, He's, he signifies a very powerful influence, right? A very powerful influence. And the interesting thing is that he's usually male in nature and uh, self-disciplined, has leadership, authority. 
Um, you know, it, it, you might possess some sort of, if, you're, if, if you don't have an emperor in your life, you might be possessing this masculine energy, this inner strength that you're, that's being called upon you at this time, Sag, to act and uh, to lead in some way, shape or form in a relationship, in a situation, uh, you know, or, uh, you know, just in your own life, you know, whatever that is. Uh, so that's what's actually being, that's what's, uh, that's what's actually being called upon here, right? So, um, yeah, it stands for all things fatherly. He's about structure, order, and authority in life. So uh, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? So, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. It, you know, it, protecting loved ones. So it could be, like I said, it could be a couple here. So note your comments below, but that's what I'm seeing here. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, see what else wants to come through here for you. So now we're gonna pull. Uh, we're gonna pull a card, and we're gonna talk about um, what you want at this moment. Okay, considering that these two came out. Okay, what you want at this moment. Oh my gosh, do you want to be left alone a little bit? Because <laughs> the universe is sending you something over here. It looks like a, a cup of uh, an opportunity, a cup of emotional fulfillment. Okay, so is it have to do with this emperor uh, in some way, shape, or form? Uh, note your comments below, but I do get the Four of Cups, which is about you know, getting your stability. But it's almost as if that you're so focused on what you want that you don't see what's coming through. That could be a beginning to something that you want here. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, so it could be that, and it leads to emotional fulfillment. So the universe, this little cloud coming in with a hand, is saying, here, here, there's an opportunity. You might not see exactly, it might not be exactly what you want, um, but it really, really is, because guess what? It's like all these other cups. It's all like them. It's 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 like all these other cups. Um, so if you're too busy concentrating on the other, um, maybe you've got too many choices, but but this is really saying is I think that you're in kind of your own world and focusing, uh, Sag, on, on meditation and kind of, you know, kind of going within. You might not see an opportunity that's really presenting that could be very fruitful for you. And it could line up over here to bring the stability that you want or that you might be looking for. OK, and that's just to add, you know, to your to to your uh, long line of emotional fulfillment pieces here. So but that's what this is saying. How interesting. I'm going to pull a peace card on this. Let's just see what might want to come through pertaining to this card. Okay, release. So you, something that is something's keeping you busy, not looking at this opportunity because you need to release and go within on your third eye and look within your heart to get the enlightenment that you need to flourish. Okay, and this is about getting enlightenment. So this is about getting. There's some sort of release. Okay, that is taking place here. So this is interesting. Wow. Uh, maybe there's an. Uh, Maybe there's an unexpected emotion uh, and uh, maybe that you've got this lack of concentration, uh, you know, or, uh, you know, you're, you know, it's just like a past trauma or sadness is triggered. And um, this is just really saying is, uh, you know, you, you're just, you're expressing yourself in a safe and loving environment is going to be really key for you, Sag. So note your comments below. Uh, this is really just, you know, this is about, you know, looking within your heart to gain the enlightenment and you know, you're going to get the enlightenment from the universe to allow you to flourish. Okay. And to be on solid ground and stability. Right. So, um, that's what this is saying. You know, it's almost as if, you know, and there's tears, there's a little bit of tears that are coming from the eye down here. There's tears. Oh, so what is that all about? All right. So Sage, that's what I'm seeing. That something is keeping you sad and not looking at the opportunity here that you might have, uh, you know, here. Okay. Uh, so that's what I am seeing. But what this wants to remind you of is that, uh, you know, you're in a safe and loving environment. Call upon the universe to work with you on this. Uh, and uh, this is just saying is that expressing yourself and uh, that, you know, uh, you know, because uh, you're going to be renewed. If you express yourself, it's going to be very, very helpful. Okay. Um, so that's what it's saying. And it was, uh, you, you can't find peace in your life um, by avoiding life. So in, in some way, shape or form, this is like avoiding life that's coming through to you, the life of the universe that wants to shine upon you and wants to give you the insight that you need and, and to replace those tears with light. OK, and that's what I get. So something needs to be released. OK, a past situation, 
a past relationship, a past, something that is bringing you back from the past that's keeping you from moving forward on your love life. Uh, and I do think it has to do with love life because there's a lot of emotions here, right? Um, and that's what I'm feeling here. So, yeah, it was Virginia Woolf that said that. I cannot find peace by avoiding life, okay? So, a uh, word of wisdom that seems to be coming through. What can help you in this process? <laughs> love, okay? In this process, it's about love. It's, it's, it's like a, to commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So even then, if you do are falling, you had some tears, the, the universe is trying to help with you and letting you know to release that so your heart can be free, that you can love again. And you're going to get that enlightenment and move forward with stability, better stability and grounding for the situation. Okay, love situation, whatever that is. And this could be a career, it could be whatever. Um, you, you fill in the blank, you're going to know how that resonates. Uh, but just seeing the good in all things. The red is about being grounded. That's that the, the root chakra. And then the purple is about your crown, which is, you know, the crown chakra there. So grounding yourself, uh, grounding yourself and getting enlightenment from the universe is going to really help you, um, you know, be able to open up your eyes and take a look at what the universe is sending you. Uh, because uh, they're they're sending you a cup of love, okay? <laughs> and you might not see that, okay, Sag? So note your comments below, all right? Uh, let's see what else wants to come out for you here, all right? So let's see what else. Uh, anything else? Uh, let's see. Okay, what is it? What is your fears? What's your fears here? Okay, let's pull this through. Your fear, your fear, your fear is that you won't have a new beginning. But this is a this is manifestation. This is this is very very. I mean, you've got a pentacle reaching out to you. You got a cup of love reaching out to you here. What do you want? It's coming after you. Okay, it's the saying. Take a look. Look up. Take a look. Keep manifest what it is that you want. But if you stay in the star of what you don't want, this can't come in. Okay. So what it wants you to do is to focus on manifesting. Uh, and on what it is that you want because it's destined to come through if that's the case and the timing is really beautiful right now for this okay so wow that's what I'm seeing very very beautiful very very beautiful yeah so the ace of it is a potential a potential for for prosperity okay guys <laughs> so hey that's what it's saying so really open yourself up to love and release that of which is sad you've learned from that you don't want to keep reliving it reliving it you just want to revisit it learn from it and then move on as quickly as as you possibly can i know it's a transition so i know that it's always not easy um so i am i do understand that um but this is saying that opportunities await you okay especially in the month of july all right, Sagittarius, so that's what's coming through, all right? Um, let's see if there's anything else that wants to come through for you. Uh, what's going for you? What's going for you? Oh, end of strife. So no more competition, okay? Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is swords, fives. This is fives about adversity. Swords are all about that conflict, tension, ending of the tension, releasing of the tension, right? Releasing of the tension and the whole process, okay? Releasing of the tension and getting rid of, 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 of any sort, you know, releasing the tension here so then you can focus more on your love, okay? So, uh, but yeah, releasing uh, that is going to be very, very key for you, okay? Uh, you know, what's the outcome on here? New beginning, page of cups. Oh, someone's coming to you for another love offer. Look at this. You got the universe handing you two opportunities, and then you got a page coming through. Uh, whether you're offering a love, a cup of love to someone, or someone's offering it to you. Um, but what I see is that you've got this new beginning, and it's a page. And and if you focus on coming from you know love, I think it's going to help you. Let me pull a peace card on this page, okay? Let me see what wants to come through. There is communication. There's blue all over. It talks about communication. In emotions, he's on solid ground, but you know there's communication uh, in that blue there, and it's bringing a cup of love. All right, so let's see what that's all about. Positive outcome, nice. So there's a positive outcome. Okay, very nice. So this is making way, you know, for a new path into the light. Universe is helping. Things are blooming. Uh, this just is saying, hey, look up. Uh, it's here and uh, you've got the same colors, uh, you know, that are going in love. So it's really focusing on love, you know, at this particular moment. 
Um, anything that can help you in terms of the Page of Cups, in terms of this positive outcome. You've got a positive outcome related to this love situation. This is about persevering. Whatever that you put your mind to, knowing that you can do it, Sag. That's what this wants to let you know. This is from the heart. This is the green from the heart chakra. And then, of course, the uh, deep purple from the crown chakra. But this is saying, keep persevering. Call upon what it is that you love to do. Marry that with asking source for assistance in that process. And uh, it, and I will tell you, the universe will work with you for a positive outcome. Granted that you release and make room for this positive outcome so it can come through. And it's about looking at everything through the eyes of love. All right? So that's what I'm seeing here. And any final things that can help you out? Okay. Being open to see both sides of the situation. What comes through is empathy. You've got empathy as it relates to love. You see the similarities in terms of the root chakra and also the crown chakra. That's It's about grounding the relationship, the situation, uh, person, place, or thing. And uh, asking, you know, for guidance. But the guidance is, is coming through today is about have empathy for both sides of the situation. Apply love. Uh, continue to persevere, right? And release what is no longer serving you. So you can have this positive outcome that could come. And I do believe, I mean, you've got, you've got, uh, you got, you got, you got a lot of offer, oppor you know, opportunities here, right? You've got three of them. Okay. So it's almost like the genie's giving you some three wishes here. What's, what's it going to be? Huh? What's it going to be? So, um, getting back to what the beginning on what gives you great joy. Okay. Uh, what is that for you, Sag? And, and tap into that because I think it's going to help you. If you tap into it and start doing it, you're going to get the vibration of love coming through. And that vibration of love is going to help you in these other areas of your life. Okay. So I really see that that really helping you out a lot. Uh, yeah. And, and, and it, because it's going to help you define uh, who or what uh, defines the context, uh, the contents of your life. Do you want it to be in a relationship? Okay. Is that what it involves? Or is it, is it something, or do you want to not do that and maybe perhaps go on your own? Uh, so that's what this is saying. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities here, but by answering those questions, I think it's going to help you because almost it's like, uh, um, who or what defines the contents of your life? I think it's just asking how you want your life path to look like moving forward. And, and, and of course, what gives you great joy is going to define, uh, it's going to help you stand in your truth. Okay. So I hope that this helped in some way, shape or form. And uh, I look forward, uh, Sag, to seeing you in the month of August. And until then, namaste, my friend.